pray. May your people exalt forever, O God, in renewed youthfulness of spirit, so that rejoicing now in the restored glory of our adoption, we may look forward in confident hope <clears throat> to the rejoicing of the day of resurrection through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter said to the people, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, the God of our fathers, has glorified his servant Jesus, whom you have handed over and denied in Pilate's presence when he decided to release him. You denied the Holy and Righteous One and asked that a murderer be released to you. The author of life you put to death, but God raised him from the dead. Of this we are witnesses. Now I know, brothers, that you acted out of ignorance, just as your leaders did. But God has thus brought to fulfillment what he had announced beforehand through the mouth of all the prophets, that his Christ would suffer. Repent, therefore, and be converted that your sins may be wiped away. The word of the Lord.
a reading from the first letter of St. John. My children, I am writing this to you so that you may not commit sin. But if anyone does sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ, the Righteous One. He is expiation for our sins, and not for our sins only, but for those of the whole world. The way we may be sure that we know him is to keep his commandments. For those who say, I know him, but do not keep his commandments, are liars, and the truth is not in them. But whoever keeps his word, the love of God is truly perfected in him. The word of the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Lord Jesus, open the scriptures to us. Make our hearts burn while you speak to us. from the Holy Gospel, according to Luke. Right, you, Lord. The two disciples recounted what had taken place on the way and how Jesus was made known to them. In the breaking of bread, while they were still speaking about this, he stood in the mid and said to them, Peace be with you. But they were startled and terrified, and thought that they were seeing a ghost. Then he said to them, Why are you troubled? And why do questions arise in your hearts? Look at my hands and my feet, that it is I myself. Touch me and see, because a ghost does not have flesh and bones, as you can see I have. And as he said this, he showed them his hands and his feet. While they were still incredulous for joy and were amazed, he asked them, Have you anything here to eat? They gave him a piece of baked fish. He took it and ate it in front of them. He said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you that everything written about me in the law of Moses and in the prophets and Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written that the Christ would suffer and arise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance for the forgiveness of sins would be preached in his name, to all the nation, beginning from Jerusalem, you are witnesses of these things. The Gospel of the Lord. Did you hear that greeting of the Lord Jesus clearly? He said, peace be with you, right? Even in our time, we know what it's like sometimes at Masses and so on. We say that, peace be with you. Or especially in the Easter season, we also say that to our friends around. But back then, about 2,000 years ago, those disciples of the Lord Jesus listened to his voice again for the first time. That message got to mean a lot to them. Why? Remember, 
only like a few days before that point, he was arrested and tortured and crucified on the cross. That was really shocking, right? We don't want to see that in our lifetime. But the disciples of the Lord Jesus got to go through that condition, and many of them ran away from the group of those who could stay and witness those tortures and the wrong things. Now, Jesus, when he said this greeting to his disciples, knew that condition. He personally went through, and he would share the human nature like those disciples. Shocking got to be something that people don't want as true. Jesus showed to them that he was present physically in front of them. There was proof for them to acknowledge his resurrection. There was also proof for them to know that God takes care of his people, especially those in trouble. Now, today, when we pay attention to this greeting of the Lord Jesus, we know about that condition that those disciples got some fear related to his suffering. More than that, the disciples of the Lord Jesus live in that region under the guidance of the Roman Empire. That's true. There were more things around for them back then. So, the word peace of the Lord Jesus did mean more than just one or two things around for them to experience a front at that point. Today, when we listen to this message of the Lord Jesus, we know that He is our Savior. He comes to bring us out of troubles of this life, especially sinfulness, what we are not supposed to get into or stay in there for long. Jesus allows all of us to see that we can be back in peace with the Heavenly Father and His community around in the world. Oh, that is great. But it got to be because of His suffering, His death and resurrection specifically, that bring us this gift of peace. So today, we got these ideas regarding the greeting of the Lord Jesus. Let us experience it more here in this church. Of course, we come here and it doesn't look like there's any more religious persecution. However, please pay attention to temptation. There are things that distract us from worshiping the Lord worthily. There are ideas, questions in our minds, or in our heart. Why I keep doing this? Well, there are other things outside. They are exciting. Or we are always in trouble here and there because of some other factors that happen outside. After this mass celebration, will we conduct our life according to the Lord teaching and at the church teaching? That is tough. Sometimes we find out that, the, uh, the, yes, there are wars in different countries, but also in our hearts, somehow there seems to be one force of the devil and the divine power that are trying to gain this. And if this is supposed to be for the Lord, we know what it's like to go through those trials of faith. We need to be faithful to the Lord. We need His assistance, more specifically for each of us, so that we may endure through this journey of faith. Today, again, we have listened to the greeting of the Lord Jesus. We know what it's like for us now in our world. We will share this gift to our brothers and sisters who are in need of that gift of the Lord too. We ask the Lord to strengthen us day by day as we meet Him here in our community or out there in our world, that all of us acknowledge the holy presence of God, the one that is taking care of all of us, and that may we all have his blessings, especially peace from him. Please stand.
let us profess our faith. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven, and he sits at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to church, the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Trusting in the power of the risen Christ, let us bring our needs to God today. For church leaders, may the Lord guide them in caring for the physical and spiritual needs of those they serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For civic leaders, may the Lord grant them fortitude in defending the dignity and sanctity of life. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who are struggling in their faith, may they be strengthened by the Holy Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all gathered here, may the Spirit renew us in the hope of the resurrection. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who have died, may they rest in eternal peace with the, our Father in heaven, especially Mel Gomez. And for the St. John Baptist de La Salle parishioners for whom this Mass is offered, let us pray. Lord, hear our prayer. For all those intentions we hold in our hearts. And for all those remembered in our parish book of prayer, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God of hope, receive these prayers we offer you today through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. As we journeyed on our way And remembered Christ our friend Our eyes were slow to recognize Our hearts to comprehend Now a stranger at our side We talked with him on our way of all the things that happened that led us on to this day in the breaking of the bread we have known you O lord by your word has this been led to the breaking of the bread in the breaking of the bread we have known you, O oh Lord, by your word have we been led in the breaking of the bread. Then he opened up the word of the prophets who had said, said your Savior first must suffer then rise from the dead as our journey found its end and the dark of night drew near we told the stranger stay with us 
Till morning's light appears In the breaking of the bread We have known you, O Lord By your word have we been led To the breaking of the bread In the breaking of the bread We have known you, O Lord To the breaking of the bread It was at table that we knew Why our hearts were set ablaze The stranger that's our brother Arisen from the grave In the breaking of the bread We have known you, O Lord By your word have we been led To the breaking of the bread In the breaking of the bread We have known you, O Lord By your word have we been led to the breaking of the my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands <clears throat> for the praise and glory of His name, for the glory of all His holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, these offerings of your exultant church, and as you have given her, cause for such great gladness. Grant also that the gifts we bring may bear fruit in perpetual happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times, I claim you, O Lord, but in this time, above all, to love you yet more gloriously. When Christ, our Passover, has been sacrificed, through him the children of light rise to eternal life, and the hosts of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is our ransom from death, and in his rising, the life of all has risen. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic host sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. 
Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed the holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise, for through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and the working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun that is setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O oh Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and the blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread and giving you thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and the giving you thanks. He said the blessing and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven. And as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and a living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we who are nourished by the body and the blood of your Son and are filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and the glorious martyrs, with St. John Baptist, 
de la Salle and with other things on whose constant intercession in your presence, good life and failing help, with this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and the salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your program church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Archbishop, the other bishop, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you in your compassion. O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at the passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There, we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command, and affirmed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as this is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace, I leave you. My peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace.
behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. <clears throat> Our communion hymn this morning is number 581 in your books, Worthy is the Lamb, number 581.
Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive honor and glory. Worthy are the ones who believe to receive the goodness of God. Number 475, Eye Has Not Seen, 475. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard what God has ready for those who love him spirit of love come give us a mind of Jesus teach us the wisdom of God when pain and sorrow weigh us down be near to us O Lord Forgive the weakness of our faith and bear us up within your peaceful world. I has not seen, ear has not heard what God has ready for those who love him. Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of God. Our lives are but a single breath. We flower and we fade. Yet all our days are in your hands, so we return in love what love has made. Eye has not seen, ear has not heard what God has ready for those who Spirit of love, come give us the mind of Jesus. Teach us the wisdom of Let us pray. Look with kindness upon your people, O Lord, and grant, we pray, that those you were pleased to renew by eternal mysteries may attain in their flesh the incorruptible glory of the resurrection. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Good morning, my name is Marissa, and I'm, I'm here from the Pregnancy Counseling Center. We are a licensed medical clinic located here in Mission Hills and have been helping moms, dads, and their babies for 53 years now. Every day at the PCC, we see women and men who are scared and anxious about a pregnancy. We offer, pregnancy, we offer free pregnancy testing, limited OB ultrasound material, and community resources. If a woman has made a choice in the past that she regrets, we have compassionate and understanding counselors for her as well. Today we're excited to announce our newest addition that we call The Hub, Helping You Build. It is located three doors, three doors down from our clinic. At The Hub, a family can come together, connect, and support each other during their parenting journey. We are a nonprofit organization that receives no financial assistance from the government. We are solar, solely donor funded. Your support is important so that, we, so that we can continue our mission of making a difference in the lives of these mothers and their babies. Today we invite you to participate in our baby bottle drive. Please pick up a baby bottle or envelope on your way out. Return it next week with your, um, with your gift. And thank you so much in advance. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has ended. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be, to, be God. to God. Our closing hymn this morning is number 171 in your books. Alleluia. Love is alive. Number 171. People of God, see the morning is new. Rise from your sleeping and run to the tomb. Come and see, come and see, he is alive. A grave that is empty, a promise fulfilled. God who was with us is here with us still. He is here, he is here, he is alive. Alleluia, love is alive Conquered the grave and defeated the night Alleluia, love is alive The sun has arisen for all Your people sing Alleluia People of God, let your fear fall away. Your chains have been broken, abound in your shame. Lift your hearts, lift your hearts. He is alive. Here now is mercy embracing your soul. Hear the fulfillment that once was foretold. It is true, it is true. He is alive. Alleluia, love is alive. Conquered the grave and defeated the night. Alleluia, love is alive. The sun has arisen for all. Your people sing Alleluia.